Rap News Street Politics, Best Hood Channel on YouTube. And we back with another one. We giving y'all the east side of South Central. Now, we didn't took y'all all through the city from West LA, West Side of South Central, Inglewood, Hawthorne, Compton, Watts. Last video, if y'all ain't tuned in, we just did Watts, stopped on about Century. This one, we going from Century all the way to the low bottoms. We got about 20 dangerous hoods on this list that we about to touch on and show y'all who really active. And we gonna touch on a lot of homies in this section, man. You know, it's a lot of dudes that's been asking for the low bottoms, but we had to do it right. We couldn't just go right through it because it's hella hoods in these sections over here. And you know, we want to shout out the subs, man. Shout out to everybody that's been rocking with us. We're going to keep dropping these videos. We got all kind of shit coming soon. But again, it's the best hood channel on YouTube. Ain't no other YouTubers actually in the streets, tapped in in these sections and giving y'all the front line of this hood business. But we're going to get straight into it. Like I said, we got 20 on the list. We got a lot of homies in this section. We got to get started. Number 20, 97, Neighborhood East Coast Crip. I'm going to rock from mine. I'm going to show you how a real nigga is. The law. You turn down, let it keep you telling. I'm going to rock On the dead, homies, you ain't got to ask. I'm going to rock from mine with the future present past. Now, East Coast 97, they tapped in tight with the 7-6s and the 8-9s to form 76897 East Coast. Now, man, we're going to get this out the way right now. We didn't told y'all 7689, but 89 East Coast Crip. While we recording this video, man, this is 118 East Coast Crip Hood Day. And again, as we speak, man, stop the music. Hellboy from 89 East Coast just got killed in the 118 East Coast on a hood day really on the 113th. So what that means is it could have been the Hoovers, Athens, Miller. It's going down in this section and we giving y'all these bodies. But again, right now, Hellboy from 89 East Coast just got killed. Now, as we touch on this, you know what I'm saying? On this list, like I said, we're going to be talking about other bodies dropping and all the hoods on this list. I want y'all to pay attention. This is mostly our black and Latino men out here getting smoked. Hellboy, 17 years old, 89 East Coast Crip. East Side, South Central is going up. Now, man, this is the end of the summer. You know what I'm saying? It's starting to get cold out here, but it's some niggas that's still trying to heat niggas up. Don't get fried in this shit on the East Side. Now, I'm going to get this off early. The East Coast hoods is tight knit. All East Coast hoods mess with each other. You know what I'm saying? This is real unity with Crippin over here. You know what I'm saying? East Coast from 1st Street to 1200 block. These dudes is tight knit. They all repping. We're going to show you all the roll calls. But 97 East Coast is close to them Q102s that we touched on. Close to them Front Street Watts Crips. They pretty much on the borderline of Watts. You know, a lot of people have said that it's not Watts, but low key. It's basically Watts, but man, where these dudes is, where you gonna find them, kicking it, whatever you wanna see these dudes. Century and Avalon, Astros Liquor, and that little smoke shop across the street from that. Man, we talking about real game bang activity right here, Avalon and Century. Now, not only are these dudes cool with the Q102s and the front streets, 984 Mains is over here. They cool with them dudes too. It's a lot of HK popping over here. And when I say HK, I mean Hoover K. All these hoods over here is pushing. It's like everybody on the same movement in this section. We didn't see the murder over here off uh, Century and Avalon at the tobacco shop in May across from the liquor store. A dude also was killed on 93rd and Clovis. That, now, that's not too far from the Bebop Watts hood. You know what I'm saying? We're going to touch on Bebop Watts, but this is all 97 East Coast hood. A real televised murder that went down right here, uh, pretty much at Astro's Liquor. A woman was killed right in front of her kids, right here in the 97 East Coast. Now, technically, it was on the side of the front streets, but like I said, all these dudes kicking right here. 97 East Coast, extremely active. Now, this section is also called Green Meadows. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like I said, 97 is pretty much in Watts. But Green Meadows is also going to have our number 19 hood on the list. Number 19, 
98 Main Street Mafia Crip. This the set, nigga. Hey, bro, this the set. Right yes, sir. Yeah, this the set, yes, nigga. Hey, bro, yeah, this the right set, though. No. I know. This hey, my nigga, right yes, here. Sir. Right. Now, like I said, these dudes is HK2 pushing that Hoover killer. On the other side of the 110, the Hoovers is right here. So they not far. But these is Mafia Crips. You know what I'm saying? I've seen a lot of dudes wondering, you know, why Mafia Crips are different from like Crenshaw Mafia blood. So the Mafia car consists of straight Mafia Crip sets. Main Street Mafia is going to be one of them strongest sets in the Mafia Crip car. These dudes rocking blue and yellow. They ally with the A4 mains. Now we're gonna touch on A4 mains in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But that's how these dudes form the 984. Now when I say 984, I mean 98th and 84th. You know what I'm saying? That's two different Main Street hoods, but they clicked up together, pushing at HK. They dealing with the neighborhood Crips and they beefing with them swans, man. They beefing with A-Tray Gangster. They beef with Grape Street and they beef with Hat Gang. Don't disrespect the gang, where they at, they don't hang, where we at, on the eight. He was speaking on the gang, graveyards, where you lay, I don't know what happened, they say bullets hit his face. Late night on main with the Crips and a blip tape, nigga try to slide 30 shots, you can't miss none. Couple four fives, block nines, and some XDs, chase a nigga down, vert killer, make him feel these. They hit Man, these dudes section is extremely serious. We didn't see the murder drop, San Pedro on 99th in April and another murder on Main and Century. And you know, the Main Streets actually lost a major member over here, Big Frog, off of like 98th in town, right in the 9A Mains. Big Frog was killed right over here. This is just blocks away from that Century and Avalon shit that we telling y'all about, where it's cracking with the front streets, 9-7s, Main Street right here too, man. Big Frog was laid down on 98th in town. Man, we giving y'all these murders recent. These are all recent bodies, you know. We got to let niggas know because uh, motherfuckers came in the comments like, hey, you know, man, the murder rate ain't high. Yeah, OK, that's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? But these sections is where the bodies is dropping. You know what I'm saying? So we giving y'all where the fuck to stay away from. 9-8 Main Street is one of them sections. Now, they, they got a pretty large hood. Again, they close to the 9-7s on Century and Avalon. So these dudes will go from Century and Avalon between like 97 all the way back to Broadway. And they'll cross over in the back end of the Q102s across Century to about 104th. Now there is a Hoover hood that, that stretches over into the east side that's closer to 9A Mains, that's the 9 4 Hoovers. You know what I'm saying? So these dudes do bleed over a little bit and Main Street also beef with a couple gangster crib hoods like 9-7 over here too. And a, another crazy fact, man, Shaquille O'Neal we done heard his wife then got fucked by some niggas from Main Street. Now, that's an old story. We know Shaq, he was involved with some niggas from Main Street when he was playing for the Lakers. These dudes is very active and they stretch wide through the city. Main Street Mafias ain't nothing to play with. Now, number 18 on the list, we're going to touch an enemigo of Main Street and 97. We got the deadliest blood gang on the east side. Y'all know what's coming? Eastside Mad Swan Blood. We the most hated. Man, we, man, we, hated surrounded, game, look, we surrounded by nothing but enemy. Now these dudes is different from neighborhood family swans. But Mad Swan, Eastside MSB, they have a large section on the east side. Like I said, this is the most active blood gang on the east side. Now we're not talking Watts. We're not going to confuse these dudes with Watts. We talking East Side, South Central, stretching from Manchester and Central to about 75th. These dudes will touch all the way to like Broadway. They got clicks on 77th, 79th, 80th, 84th. These dudes hood is huge. The nigga finally like, he, he like, he like keep getting closer. So, I, so I, now I bounce like, man, where you from? Not from East Coast. So now we, we like, you feel me, we rock right, right, so. rock now the people trying to break it up, you feel me? So now we done got probably to the Compton station, nigga. So we telling them like, nigga, if y'all trip, we can get off the train, we can, we can get it in, you feel me? They weren't talking, they weren't talking, they was really letting the people like, like where you say you from? I'm not from East Side Swan. Oh uh, yeah, this 9 8 40. Then now we off the camera, so now we back up. So now we back up, we get the, we get the popping. You know, so we, you feel me? We outnumbered, nigga. They, they rushing us, they, they, like I said, they set 15, 20 deep, nigga. So we back up and we, we 
get to doing our shit. Shit, one of the niggas get hit, we run a little bit, fall face first, you feel me? They beefing with pretty much everybody around them. We talking about beefing with the A7 kitchens, beefing with all the East Coast hoods, beefing with the main streets. We done seen these dudes beefing with Denver Lane. They got 8A Avalon, you know what I'm saying? We gonna mention 8A Avalon Gardens, we gonna mention them, but the, they got them kind of tucked away in their projects right now, you know? Swans, Eastside MSB, extremely active. Now, you know, shout out my nigga Chris from Eastside MSB. You know, we fell out on a little incident on Pico, and it's still love, and you know, that nigga Money Monk from the Stink Team that was fucking with uh, Draco and Ralphie, he from Swans. Dead on sight, ain't no need for the cops. He's a cornball, pull out the heat and he gon' pop. I don't need no protection, all I need is my Glock. You hang with the other side, then for sure you a op. Plug. Pop his top like a cork off some Bel Air. Come around a team wearing bling, better beware. His brain on my SB, so I have to buy a new pair. He thought it was bulletproof, so I shot him through the monk lair. Like I said, we done seen multiple murders in these dudes' section. Avalon and 81st. 73rd and Avalon. That was kind of like in the enemy hood of seven trade gangsters. But uh, we can't say who did that, but that was damn near in the swan hood. 78th and Wadsworth, 73rd and Avalon. All these murders, all in the swan hood. Eastside MSB is going down in this section. These dudes are cool with gangs like Inglewood family and Sidnella Park family. But other than that, like we told y'all, man, it's up with everybody else. And we can't stress it enough the most active blood gang on the east side of South Central. We didn't caught this set hidden up in other people's sets. We didn't caught them hidden up in the East Coast. We didn't caught them hidden up deep in the A7 kitchen hood. These dudes trying to mark their territory, push their enemigos back, and they with that gunplay. Now, number 17 on the list, we hitting y'all with a juggernaut. The biggest gang in the city, it seemed like, man. Florencia, South Side, Florencia Trece. Florencia Thole, dead homies. Right here on Grape Street and all that, fuck fakes too. A5 block, dead homies. Man. Now everybody know Florencia on the East Coast was in a deadly war, man, for decades. But Florencia, not only does they hood stretch from the east side of South Central, it also goes to Huntington Park. Man, these dudes, have the biggest hood in the city. We talking about all the way from Slauson and Central to Firestone. They section is also Florence Firestone. They got multiple clicks. Man, I say the most active click they got, 85th Street Locos. They also got the 59th Street Malditos, 64th Street Locos, 68th Street Tokers, the Midnight Street Boys on 70th, the Dream Boys on 67th, Man, I'm telling you, these dudes' hood is crazy active. They still in the 5'9 East Coasts. They share their hood with the 7'6 East Coasts. They close to the 8'9 East Coast. Man, these dudes all over the city. And I will tell you, they have the deadliest park in the city. Roosevelt Park off Graham, the deadliest park in the city. This year alone, three murders at Roosevelt Park in Florencia's hood. We seen a body dropped in August, a body dropped in April, another body earlier this year on 85th and Grand. We didn't seen a woman killed on 66th and Central. We didn't seen another body in their hood on Compton and Slauson, another body in their hood on 69th and Central. Like I said, these are all recent homies in Florencia's section. Dangerous, dangerous hood, man. I'm telling you, these dudes have the largest hood in their city they all over the place and they beefing with all hoods and watts man they not fucking with watts at all like we said y'all see that compton video where they was in the kelly parks whacking mortontown watts out man they not playing they all over the city west side and the east side you catch these dudes in the 6 hitting up the f-13 but the one game that they are cool with is in the low bottoms the fire dudes pueblos and when you get closer to the fire dudes pueblos you're gonna see they pushing ck now this may be old we can also see them whacking out that 5.9 east coast with that ck business 
on 59th Street. Now, like I said, it's probably old, but it's still there. And that lets y'all know how deep that beef was between Florencia and all the East Coast Crips. It's not just 59, 76, 89, all them dudes was in a major war with Florencia. And Doc cleaned it up along with other members of the East Coast. And uh, right now, the truce looks like it's holding steady because not only do we see 7, 6, and 8, 9 hitting up with Florencia, we see no whackouts. You know what I'm saying? Other than that one on 59, like I said, it's old, but it ain't no whackouts. It ain't no dissing. Nobody whacking the E. Nobody whacking the F. You know what I'm saying? And East Coast is one of them hoods, especially 7, 6. They hit up everywhere. Now, we're going to cross over to the low bottoms across Slosser. They hood is close to the Florencias. They beefing with Bloodstone Villains. At number 16, we hitting the low bottoms. Eastside Pueblo Bishop Bloods. In the projects, though. Everybody got glocks and always spraying. And niggas don't even know why they misbehaving. But everybody outside want to be on gang shit. And I'm just got to tell the truth and I ain't playing. Yeah, yeah, I can't sit around and just not say shit. Niggas goofy, niggas ganging, niggas banging. Niggas banging. But I'm a project baby The hood show for save me hey. Pueblo Del Rio projects Huge project From Compton to Alameda And they projects is on both sides of, uh, of Long Beach Avenue Again, this is a set That's surprisingly cool with Florencia But they beef with Vadio 38th Street They've also always been known to beef with Bloodstone Villains Somebody Pueblo. All right, Crip Max, 55th Street. All right, 50s. Yeah. Else, brother? That's it right there. I'll give you some beer. Now, we've seen they supposedly have a truce between the Five Deuce Broadways and the Five Tray Avalons, which would also include the 40 Avalons, but they beef with the Faux Pack, Faux Pack Gangsta Crip. And, of course, they beef with the East Coast Hoods, 5-9. They beef with the Swans, but they do fuck with the Nine Deuce Bishops. Now, you notice by the name, this the Pueblo Bishops, Nine Deuce Bishops and Watts, they fuck with each other. But the Pueblo Del Rios, a major project stretching on both sides of Long Beach Avenue. Now, these dudes is close to the four pack and they close to Vadio 38, man. And like we said, when we see Florencia over here, they pushing that CK heavy. But I, I think these dudes did the most work against the Bloodstone villains. You know what I'm saying? Now, I think at one point they was cool with the villains, but for whatever the case is, they fell out and them dudes been beefing for a long time. And uh, one could say because of the territory, the villains kind of been losing that war. Now, we didn't see the recent murder over here in the Pueblos off of Alba, right under 55th Street. They got the five dudes click, five four click over here. And, you know, there was another murder in the Pueblos. A dude named Mighty from the Pueblos, he was killed in the projects. Now, like we said, they beefing with Bloodstone Villain. They beefing with the four pack gangsters. And they beefing with the swines. But, you know, if we talking about territory and where shit happened at, they do Mighty from Pueblo. He may have got hit from the four pack or the BSV, but this is yet another murder in this section inside the Pueblo Del Rio projects. But nonetheless, Fidu's Pueblo Bishop, extremely active. Shout out my nigga Dre. And you know, I got to give a real shout out to uh, Lady Soldier from the four. Now, Lady Soldier from Five Four Pueblos, you know, I've been seeing you do your thing. And uh, y'all, y'all go fuck with Lady Folk. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go follow her on Instagram and shit, you know? Let's blow this shit up. And also, man, y'all follow us on Instagram, Rap News Street Politics. We got this shit popping on Instagram now. Y'all get up with us there too. Now, number 15, 89 East Coast Crip. Stoop 9th Street, it's just me and baby sleep. Baby sleep, coast gang, we up like and we ain't sleep. Ain't sleep, trash man, throw his body in the trash can. Holla tips to eat him up from this Mac 10 store. It's me and you, and I ain't leaving right now. And you can see the proof. A lot of niggas like to lie, but I see the truth. I'm a jug, I'm an animal with this fucking toe stove. Now, these dudes would be closer to 87th and Compton. They'd be up at Washington Park, Harry's Market right there. Again, they next to the Florencia hood too. 
And you know, we talked about Hellboy from 890s Coast getting killed. Now, like we said, that was 11 a hood day. What y'all do is gotta remember, these hood days from June to November is popping in the city, man. Honestly, I'm gonna say this shit year round, you know what I'm saying? But really to keep it real from about March, April to November, where you got hoods in the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. All these hoods gonna have hood days in these months. 11A hood day, like I said, when we record this video, it's November 8th, 11 8. 11 Deuce Broadway just had a hood day. 9A Main Street had theirs. Grape Street had theirs. Bounty Hunter Watts. This hood, 89 East Coast, 76 East Coast. All these hoods have had their hood day. And it seemed like Hillboy was functioning. Like we told y'all, all the East Coast functioned together. He was functioning. And now 89 is feeling that loss. You know what I'm saying? This section is deadly. But a, a hood that's really close to them on the same side of the street. Like once you leave in Washington Park and you cross over that under that little uh that little train right there on beach, the nine dudes bitches be right there. But 89 has a heavy presence over here on 87. Now, of course, they had a body drop too on 88. Man, this section is deadly. Florence is all over the place. East Coast all over the place, man. Seven, six, eight, nine, seven. We're going to keep letting y'all know these East Coast hoods over here is major. You know what I'm saying? The reason why we breaking these East Coast hoods up, they're not the same. They different gangs under the same movement, under the same car, under that East Coast car. There's multiple different sets. Like we said, 1st Street to 1200 block. You got June Crips, July Crips, August Crips. You've seen this. You got six pack East Coast, six dude, six, six. 6-9, we didn't see them push 6-8. You got 5-9 East Coast. You done heard us touch about 11-8. You heard us touch about Q102. And all these hoods, man, true unity. These East Coast hoods all get along with each other and they share common enemies. But that's another thing that separates them, our enemies. You know what I'm saying? Because they're located in different parts of the city, so they beef with different sets. 8-9 East Coast is also going to beef with 8-7 Kitchen, Grape Street, 9 Deuce Bishop, these dudes and also beef with uh Campanella Park, West Side Paru down in Compton. Like I said, Compton Avenue stretches through their hood. They really be on like Compton. Compton 87th, Compton 89th, these dudes be over there. It's very active in this section. 89 East Coast, again, one of them sets that was really involved in this Florence beef. They still here, they extremely active. Bodies are dropping in this section. Y'all stay out. Number 14 on the list. We touching on the hood that's beefing with these East Coast sets. 87 Kitchen Crip. I'm protected by the killers in a drug. In a drug. Don't move and I swear you get touched. You get touched. I ain't checking shit. I don't wanna know what's up. I'm what what's up. My ex Maddie, like my last bitch was laid. Now these dudes also outside of California. We done seen Kitchen Crip in the South. You know what I'm saying? They got a lot going on. They also got an 11 6 set. That 11-6 set is close to them Avalons over there. You know, they're not really active in the 11-6, but A7, extremely active. They beefing with Hat Gang. Watch, we're going to touch on Hat Gang. They beefing with the Coast over here. They beefing with the Swans. Now, we didn't see them dudes hit up next to Florencia. Don't seem to be no beef between the A7s and the Florences. But them and the Swans, psh, it's going down. We didn't see FSB all through the kitchens. We didn't see them kitchens really getting active, though. You know what I'm saying? Now, in the kitchens, man, we didn't see two separate murders in the same street. Hooper and Firestone. That's the kitchen Crips. They got that L Super that be jumping right there. East side of South Central is crazy. And the reason why we got so many hoods on this list, man, kitchen is a good example. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not a lot of territory that these hoods operate in. Like some games, like we're going to talk about Playboys, we're going to talk about 38th Street, Florence. Now, them dudes, they control a lot of area. But the black gangs over here, you know, only a couple of them really have a lot of area, like the Swans, the Main Streets have a lot of area. But these hoods, they don't have a lot of territory, and they packed up against each other, man. This is why so many active sets on the east side of South Central. Kitchen is going to stretch across Firestone, all the way to about 83rd between Central and like Compton or maybe even Central and Zamora. 
to about 88. You know what I'm saying? But right across Central is one of their main enemies, the Swans, you know. And on the other side of Zamora or Compton, there go the 8-9s and the 7-6 East Coast. So these dudes are sandwiched in between their enemigos, but they're extremely active over here. Now, we, man, you listen, listen to these bodies. Every section going to have bodies in it. You know what I'm saying? That's recent, though. It's jumping in this section. And number 13 on the list, we're going to hit a Main Street. My Muslim brother, Main Street. My hey, this our hood, too. Hey, yeah, yeah damn me. Fuck, fuck Hoochie's, though. Tell them we was in there. Tell them we was in here. Now, again, a Main Street is a part of that 9 a collective. Now, when you coming from the kitchens and you going west down Manchester, you're going to bump into the eight foes. And once you hit about Manchester and San Pedro to Broadway, of course, Main Street, 84th and Main, this is all eight four mains. They share their hood with Barrio Mahados, a Hispanic gang over here that beef with Florencia and 18th Street. But eight four mains is active over here, too. And, you know, one of their reputable members, Baby JM, he got killed earlier this year. You know what I'm saying now? It was a, a New Year's Eve little situation. At first, it sounded like a little back door. But I think, you know, some enemigos just caught up on them on a the, uh, little New Year's Eve celebration tip, you know. But that was one of their main dudes over here, Baby JM. He had just got out. A4 Main Street active. We just seen a body drop over here on San Pedro on 87. Now, that's bottom main. It's really in the A7 Gangsters, man. And the A7 Gangsters is that hood that killed PNB Rock. So that's, that, that may be why that name ring bells to y'all. But Main Street beef with them dudes. They beef with the 5 1 Troubles. They beef with the 9 7s, the A 7s, and A 4 beef with Florencia, too. So we know if A 4 beef with them, 9 8 beef with them, too. Took a L, got back up, bitch, it's our favorite shit. Speeding on the free, doing a dollar on some crazy shit. Stay up in your lane and shit, M game, dangerous. Niggas, they don't play with us. Come and get your tainting up. Tupac running my blood, all them slipping, hit them up. I ain't with the playing games in the beamer, switching lanes. Four fingers in the thumb, bitches stand for the game. Right here on the 8, bitch, you here every day. Big ass 40 gate, the other side of earthquake, nigga. But when we talk about main, main rivals, again, them swans, man, like we said, swans got a big hood. And they surrounded by their enemies. A4 Main is one of the Swan's enemies, and that's their main enemy. So when we talk about these bodies dropping, man, get a picture in your head about who doing this in these sections. Now, it all ain't gonna be Main, it all ain't gonna be the kitchen or the Swans, but man, it's only a few hoods that we touching on that's beefing with each other. Do the math. Now, when you coming from the A4 Mains down Manchester, going east, it turned into Firestone Boulevard. And it's a set on Firestone at number 12 that has it sold up right here on Firestone and Beach. And that's Nine Deuce Bishop, Bloods, Watts, though. Now, man, when I say they got it fully lined up right here at that liquor store on Firestone and Beach, you cannot get up in there, man. That is a no-go zone. Nine Deuce Bishop completely wrapped up. Now, these dudes is allied with the Bebop Watts. We didn't see nobody dropping on 93rd and Central. But man, we talking this area, multiple bodies dropped in the last year. At least four bodies in drop right here. Now in, a, in about an eight block stretch from this section, about eight bodies have dropped in the last year in this section. Man, this is Murder City right here. Again, these dudes is right next to the 89 East Coast, right next to the 76 East Coast. They beefing with both of them. Now, they hood is, is pretty large, man. They go all the way down to 92nd. But again, you're going to find these dudes at the back end of their hood off Firestone extremely active. Now, not only do they beef with the East Coast, they also beef with Grape Street and Vidio Grape, as well as Hat Gang. Nine Deuce Bishop ain't nothing to play with over here. Allied with Bebop Watts and Bebop Watts, like we told y'all, is right next to the nine sevens. And this is technically a Watts blood gang. But that just lets you know how close the lines are from the east side of South Central to Watts. That's why we have some Watts hoods in this video. And we had east side South Central hoods in the last Watts video. Because the lines is real close. Now number 11 on this list, we got another South Side hood. And this for y'all that say we don't be putting too many South Siders in here. Man, 
the list be hella active. We know the Southsiders get active, but here's one of them. Mordentown Stoner. Chris, Chris is all 100%. All right, for sure, nigga. Mordentown, nigga. Don't trip, dog. All right, for sure. You know who this is? Hey, my boy. Everybody, Little Little boy, boy you know what's up, my boy? That's right, nigga. Where you, hey, your little homies at? So I don't keep it with nobody, though. Tell you the truth, I don't. So don't what, you, you Christian? You don't fuck around? I'm on the road calling everything Christian, dog. This is a South Side hood that beats heavily with Elm Street Watts and Florencia. Now, again, this is really Mordentown Watts. Again, this is a Watts hood. It's on the other side of Firestone and it stretches through that nine deuce Bishop hood into the Elm Street Watts hood. Other side of Firestone is stretching into that Florencia hood. But these dudes is putting it down against Florencia. Now, we didn't told y'all, we seen these dudes beefing with Florencia all the way in Compton, east side of Compton though, in the Kelly Parks. This hood get around. Now, this is one of them hoods you may not hear a lot about. But if you come over here to Firestone, man, you're going to see a whole lot of, you know what I'm saying? They're extremely active in this section. They holding their own against Florencia. And, you know, when you're able to do that, that say a lot about your hood. Because like we said, we didn't told y'all how big Florencia is. Born Town Watch gets it cracking, though. And the number 10 hood we got for y'all on this list, we coming back down Firestone for it to turn into Manchester. We hitting on Central. Right next to the Avalon Gardens, Eastside Family Swan Bloods, FSB, another swan hood. If I catch you in my section, I, I'm just rapping my, I'm just rapping my, I'm just rapping my section, I, I'm just rapping my, I'm just rapping my, east side of the section, I, it's just do or die, it's just do or die, when you are in my section. Now this swan hood, like we said, is tucked in real tight with the mad swans and the mob swans. These dudes beefing with the A7s, beefing heavy with East Coast, beefing with the hard time hustlers, beefing with Nine Deuce Bishop, Denver Lane, and the 984 mains. But they main rivals, and I'ma honestly say, man, these dudes got these dudes kind of tucked away, the 8 day Avalons. Now, we have been in a section, the Avalons, they, they, they got a project over here called the Avalon Gardens. Seemingly, they be up in there because the swines be out, man. Now, I don't know if they be kicking in the, in the gardens or if they go to the five trays or the 40 Avalons, but them family swines is active over here on Wiseworth. Now, Wiseworth is a very active street, but they real close to the 97 East Coast, 89 East Coast, 88 Avalon, Bebop Watts, and the Kitchen Crips. They main clicks is on 89th and 92nd. Now we see 92nd holds a lot of hoods like Bebop Watts and the Bishops. Now sometimes there is internal conflict between the swan hoods. Like I said, these hoods is different. So we didn't see the mob swans and the family swans kind of go at it. But for the most part, they got swan love over here. I'm from Swans, where the threes get whacked out, slide through the skirts of the Mac, but they ain't hanging out. The naps keep bissing, I'm tripping, I'm burning chaos. From the bottoms to the bonds, you niggas are getting laid out. I'm flip flop killer and I'm A-bomb bashing. Catch a boat slipping, I'm in doing all the traffic. This bird game, bitch, I got a blasting on my left hand. I ain't seen you niggas in a while, you gotta tap in. Now, before we get to that number nine hood, man, y'all gotta like, comment, and subscribe. We still on that road to 100K. If y'all rocking with these videos, if y'all rocking with the best hood channel on YouTube, y'all got to hit that sub button, man. We the only channel out here really in these sections, man. These other YouTubers, like we told you, be trying to jump the gun, steal the content, and they fuck it all up. We ain't here for that. You know what I'm saying? Rap News Street Politics, number nine hood, six pack East Coast Crip. It's time to ball. We gon' buzz back, kill them all. Wanna blow about 10 racks at the mall. And call it life work. And niggas only kill shit when they off a pick of crazy on this planet Earth. I was raised up on the East, that shit'll really curse you. It ain't about money, it's respect, that's the real purpose. I've been finding demons for a minute, but the bag splurged. Told her, baby, be. Now we got six deuce, six six, six eight, six nine. Now this is the same hood Ezel Ford was from. This section probably the most known East Coast section out of their whole collective. Now, we're going to give a shout out to Ray Nell, Bebe, Wack, Six Deuce East Coast. But we didn't see the murder over here in their hood off 61st and Broadway. Like we said, EZL4 from 6'6 got killed over here. 
These dudes section stretch from about Florence to Slauson between Avalon and Broadway. Now, everything past Broadway is that one way tucked against the 110. It ain't really no action over there. So we're going to say Broadway to Avalon, Slauson to Florence. This is the six pack. Main Street, San Pedro, Gage. This is a neighborhood crib set. All East Coast Crips are neighborhood cribs. This is weed, cuz that on me. Nigga, I hope my cousin straight dead on me. Cause nigga, I'm blind, I'm crip. All fucking slobs, dead homies. I'm killing every slob I see, dead homies. Nigga, y'all wanna flip my car, bitch? On the dead homies. All right, I got something for y'all, dead homies. Y'all lucky, yo. Ooh, dead homies. All right, cuz. It's gonna be free me, cuz. It's gonna be again. These dudes have also put the guns down against Florencia. But they beefing with Five Trey Avalon, beefing with the Swans, beefing with Five Five Bunch. Of course, they HK beefing with the Hoovers. We done seen them beef with the 9A4 Mains. And like we told you on the last video, you know, we don't know if the Broadways have cleaned it up with the East Coast. We seen the 11 Deuces have cleaned it up with them. But we can't say. If the six deuces and all the other East Coast hoods have cleaned it up with the Fire Dudes Broadways, but they known to beef with the Fire Dudes Broadways as well. And check this out. Earlier this year, Six Deuce East Coast, they lost a real member, really loved and respected from over in that section. Baby Rob. He was killed on Western and Vernon. Right there at that Louisiana chicken next to that master burger where C Mac be getting his little burgers from. That's where Baby Rob was hit. All the East Coast came out and showed love for Baby Rob. And honestly, this is the middle of the 40s hood. It could have been the VNGs. It could have been the Hoovers. It, it could have been anybody over here. You know what I'm saying? But Baby Rob got hit right here. Really loved and respected member from Six Deuce East Coast. Now, this section right here is supposed to be some of the first Crip gangs on the east side. East Coast. Now, between Avalon and Central, it's not too much activity between these dudes and the Florencia in terms of territory, but if we gonna give it to anybody, we'll give it to Florencia. But we done seen the swans coming over here, whacking the East Coast out. And we've seen the heavy presence of East Coast Crip members from the six pack in this section. And number eight, we gonna get y'all with another East Coast hood over here. Like I said, these hoods are different. They're not the same. Just because they call it East Coast, they operate in different sections of the city. 5-9 East Coast. Now, this is on the other side of Central between Slauson and Gage. I'm from the city where the flowers don't grow, where the sun don't shine and the rain's so cold. When we was taught to get the cash out of run up in a nigga house, rob banks for the dough. It's so much shit going on in my life. I've been stabbed in the back with the longest knife. Slept on the blocks on the coldest nights. Lost so many of my niggas, don't shit seem right. 5-9 East Coast has a heavy presence of Florencia's in it. Now, Florencia got a couple main clicks. They got a grip of clicks, but over here on 59th, one of their main clicks is over here too. 59th Street, the Malditos over here. When you see that MDS on the wall, that's Florencia and Malditos. But the 59 East Coast, I say, it's probably one of the smaller East Coast hoods. It's still very active though. We didn't seen a body drop over here in July on 59th. And we didn't see nobody on 67th the Central. This is 5-9 Hood, East Coast Crip. Of course, they also beef with the Hoovers. They beef with the Pueblo Bishops, the Bloodstone Villains, who we had to boot the villains off the list. I'm not going to lie. They not in their section. They surrounded by enemies. Bloodstone Villains ain't make it. Fuck with everybody else talking about with the villains. You know, not saying they hood is inactive or anything like that. But man, they just surrounded. You know what I'm saying? So... 5-9 East Coast is beefing with BSV, beefing with Fire Dudes Pueblos, and they tighten it with all other East Coast hoods. At number seven, seven six East Coast Crip. Now, like I said, these dudes is tight with the eight nines, and they tight with the nine sevens, seven six eight nine seven. But this is another East Coast hood that's pushing all of them. They hood is right in the middle of Florencia's South Central hood in Florence Firestone. Now, it's been said that ever since the war with the Florencias, these dudes have lost territory. But I'm telling you, after the truce, it seems like they gained all that shit back because they everywhere over there, man. Now, these dudes is beefing with Nine Deuce Bishop. And we look, we getting the Nine Deuce Bishop too. They section is sold up. 
Seven Six is real close to them. Our Firestone, where them dudes be at, Seven Six, Eight Nine, and the Bishop Touch on Firestone. But they also known to be for Grape Street and A Seven Kitchen. And of course, one of their main rivals is Set Wheaton Touchstone, Eastside and MSB, Mad Swans. They done been active with them dudes too. So Seven Six is entrenched in a lot of beef over here in this Florence, Graham, Florence, Firestone area. And man, I tell you, in this section, Graham got to be the deadliest street, man. But we didn't also see the murder over here in the middle of their hood on 76 in May. That was back in June. And this section is on fire. Y'all got to stay out of the east side. Now, an extremely big set over here. Counterparts, I would say they kind of counterparts of the West LA PBGs. But this is east side Playboy Rabbit Gang. South side Playboy Therese. But now I need a rolly. Bitch, I'm a die legend like Kobe. Rich rabbit in the cool, we smoke it. Set plays down, trying to get trophies. Knew you was out of line, line, that's the bottom line. You wouldn't worry about me, just a solid sign. You ain't used to this, I got two sides. Real street, nigga, on the east side. Now, PBS, extremely large hood in South Park. These dudes have always been known to beef with F13. They beef heavy with the Hangout Boys and 5 5 Bunch. They beefing with Vadio 38th Street, and they beefing with Vadio 41st Street. Like I said, they cool with them Playboy Gangsta Crips in West LA, where Big Sad from. They both rep that rabbit gang. But these dudes share their hood with the Five Tray Avalons. They cool with the Five Trays, they cool with the 40 Avalons. But this is a major set in Los Angeles, man. One of the largest sets in this section on the east side. These dudes going at it like crazy with Florencia and the Hangout Boys. Now, the Hangout Boys and Five Five Bunch had to low-key click up together to go against PBS. Now, this is, this is the low bottoms. You know what I'm saying? This is the original Rabbit Gang. These dudes got black members and Latino members, even though they technically a South Side hood. But I will say they have some of the cleanest hit-ups in the city. They got clicks on 35th, 43rd, 46th, 49th, 51st, where the Avalons be at, 56th. They hood, like I said, you hear that? It's stretching 20 blocks. And they also beef with Body of Mahatos. You know, only large gangs can beef with this set right here. That's why 5 5 Bunch and Hangout Boys have to click up. These dudes got members. I didn't touch any guys when they come and preach the homies and shit straight up. Or what? You know what? What's the deal? We could do something. What's popping? Oh, what? Put your badge down there. We can get in. Don't, don't, don't hit anything with that. Put your badge down there. Hey, get in. 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 At South Park, man, on 51st and Avalon, they are always outside. At that A1 Chinese spot, at the liquor store, at South Park, kicking it across the street from South Park, Five Tray Avalon is one of the most active sections over here in South Park. They have a counterpart in 40 Avalon. We're going to touch on them. But they also was clicked up with the 88 Avalon Gardens, and the 11-6 Avalons. They've always been known to beef with the Harlem 30s, but one of their main beefs is Faux Pack Crip. Faux Deuce Gangsta Crip, Faux Trey Gangsta Crip, and Faux Way Gangsta Crip. They've also been known to beef with the Neighborhood Crip Card, Bloodstone Villains, Family Swans, Mad Swans, Six Pack East Coast, Five Nine East Coast, and Vadio 41st Street. Now, a member of Fire Trey Avalon that y'all see on YouTube, Big Cartoon 5-3. We fuck with his channel, man. Shout out to Big Cartoon for Fire Trey Avalon. But Fire Trey, extremely active section in South Park, man. Every day on 51st, you're going to see these dudes. I don't give a fuck what day it is. These niggas going to be outside. But also, Fire Trey is the largest of all the Avalon sets. So that's what comes with that. You know what I'm saying? That activity, these dudes have a lot of members. Now, they share their hood with the Playboys, with the Rabbit Gang, between Central and San Pedro. Now, Rabbit Gang is stretched all the way to about Broadway, but uh, these dudes go from Vernon to Slauson, 
Central to San Pedro. Avalon Boulevard in there. McKinley, 51st, 53rd, all through this town is jumping in this whole section, man. Between the PBSs and the five trays, don't get caught over here. We done seen a body drop on Central and Vernon. You know it recently. That was you, bro. This is not a section you want to hang out at. It's not a park you want to be at. South Park, stay away from it. Now, number four on the list, we got another big South Side hood. Barrio 38th Street. Now, you're going to see these dudes around Vernon, around 50th Street. Really, from like 50th to Vernon, they all over the place over here. When you leave out of the Pueblos, going down Long Beach, everything on the west side of Long Beach, Vadio 38th Street is jumping over here. Man, right here on the uh, Hooper Central, they touch through Barrio Mahato's hood. They beef with Barrio Mahato's. They beef with F-13, and they beef with PBS. And I would say, man, because of the F-13 beef, they also beef with the Pueblos, as well as Vadio 41st Street and a grip of other Sudanio hoods. Now, Southside 38th Street has been around for a long time, man, and this hood is not for play. Come on, nigga. Fuck 38, nigga. That Florencia gang, nigga. We'll handle that shit then, my nigga. 38, nigga. That's right, nigga. Keep on running, bitch. Look at how 38s run, nigga. You catch these dudes on 49th, 48th, Compton Avenue, across from the 48 Gangsters, Honduras. They make their presence well known in this section. And again, an extremely active south side hood where the fucking tramps at nigga dead homies niggas is not out though set i don't know dead. fuck tramps nigga fuck tramps any mamas nigga Fuck tramps, nigga, on the dead homies, nigga. Yeah, F Street, though, nigga. Jeez, nigga. Now, number three on the list, we got to hit y'all with that Avalon and Amigo, the faux pack gangster crib, consisting of faux deuce gangsters, faux Trey gangsters, and faux eight gangster crib. Now, faux eight gangsters is between 47th and 50th, between Compton and Central. Faux Trey gangsters, which, which is really they most reputable side they in their biggest section from Main Street to about Hooper all the way down to Vernon tucked in between like 41st because remember body of 41st Street is over here as well that beef with these dudes and photos gangsters pretty like a little small gangster crib set from Central to Hooper between 41st and 42nd but these dudes beef heavy with the 40 Avalons and the 5 Trey Avalons now, it was said that Faux Trey Gangsters is one of the first Gangster Crip sets. This our part, Faux Pack Crip, nigga. Faux Pack Crip. Yeah, fuck Vons and they mamas, though, nigga. Where we at? South Park, the landmark. But they've been known to beef heavily with other Gangster Crip hoods like the Avalons. Now, this Faux Pack Gangster Crip, even though they got that GC on it, they cool with the East Coast Crips, which is, which is pretty much contrary to the whole Gangster Crip movement. You know what I'm saying? So we already told y'all East Coast Crips is neighborhood Crips. Gangsters push that tray card and they don't get along with the neighborhood Crips. But the faux trays and the faux pack all together have kind of broken those rules and they function with the neighborhood East Coast. But hoods like Avalon, hoods like Playboy, all the gangster Crips in West LA, eight tray gangsters, nine, seven, eight, seven, them dudes don't mess with neighborhood Crips. Faux Trey, Faux Deuce, and Faux Eight is the outlier. Beefing with gangsters and hanging with neighborhoods. Bring your bitch ass out the set. Come on. Dead homies, nigga. Get up out the hood. Get up out the hood. Get up out the hood. Fuck Slim, nigga. Fuck Slim. Now they also beef with the Hangout Boys. They beef with the 20 Bloods. They beef with Bloodstone Villain. They beef with the Pueblos. And they beef with the Broadway gangsters. And they also been known to beef with the Hoovers. But again, for the most part in this section, they had Gilbert Lindsay 
and they beefing with the Fodi Avalons. Now, number two on the list, we got Fodi Avalon against the Crip. You ready to get in the high speed takes? <laughs> Left is dumbass. Look. Stop it, boy. Can't catch up to this. Stop it. They coming too, look, y'all. They coming, look. Look, he can't catch me, look. And like we said, these dudes is tightening with the five tray Avalons and they beefing with the four pack heavy. They also beef with Vadio 41st Street, Harlem 30s, Bloodstone Villains, Mad Swans and other neighborhood crib gangs. And the activity does not stop over here. Crazy shit, back in July, we just seen a six-year-old boy get killed over here on 40th and Avalon. Vardio 41st Street is also over here tucked between these dudes and the faux pack. But again, these dudes is hella active. Now we done seen these dudes also kicking it at South Park with the five trades. You know, South Park is a hub for all the Avalons, whether it's 40, five tray, 8-8, eight, eight, whatever, whatever it's gonna be, these dudes be over there too, but they hood stretch from like King to 41st. They got 41st Street, 40th Place, McKinley, Avalon Boulevard. These dudes is active out here, man. They also next to the 30 rules. Now we didn't add the 30 rules on this list or the 40 rules. These are Bloodstone Pie rules over here on the east side. Rolling 30 Pie Rule and Rolling 40 Pie Rule. Both them sections beef with faux pack and the Avalons, but man, like we said, we gotta get y'all the most active and the largest, most dangerous. It's the Avalons and the faux packs. That's why the Pie Rules was left off on the east side. But number one on the list, we gotta give y'all the original Broadway set. Now this is West Side Fire Dudes Broadway. Even though they hood, most of it's on the east side, they still rep the west side. Fire Dudes Broadway Gangsta Crip. They share their hood with the Hangout Boys, Five Five Bunch. We done seen these dudes beef with the neighborhood Crips. The 40s, the 50s, Bloodstone Villains, Vadio 50th Street, and the Faux Pack. Now they pretty much tight knit with the 11 deuces. It's all the Broadway here. You know what I'm saying? And these dudes go from Broadway to Main Street and from Vernon to Slauson. These dudes section is low key big, but like I said, Hangout Boys is here beefing with the Playboys and Five Five Bunch is over here beefing with PBS. These dudes is cool with the Five Trey Avalons and the Fody Avalons and pretty much all other gangster crib hoods, you know, but they've been known to beef with the East Coast like the Six Pack, Five Nine, they've been known to beef with them dudes, but Broadway's is over here. We didn't see the murder on 53rd and Broadway in September, a headshot. Man, it's cracking in this section, East Side of South Central. It's always gonna be jumping, man. And, you know, some hoods we gotta let y'all know. We gotta give y'all the honorable mentions, you know. A couple hoods, they kind of small, but they still active. You got 99 Watts Mafia. These dudes active on 99th. They a Mafia Crip set between 98th and Century, Central and Compton Avenue. 99 Mafia, like I told you, them yellow bandanas is in effect when you got the Mafia Crips. They beefing with Grave Street, beefing with Bounty Hunter, Really Main Street with Hat Gang Watts. And we got to mention Hat Gang Watts as well. You know what I'm saying? Now, Hat Gang, a little bit bigger than 99 Watts. They go from 92nd to 98th between Central and Compton Avenue. They close to the eight nines. They close to Bebop Watts. And they not too far from those nine dudes bishops. And you know, while we mention Hat Gang, Hat Gang also lost a major part of their hood in Big Crip Code. You know, he was killed last year, but again, he was also a major part of Hat Gang. You know, we just letting y'all know about these bodies that's dropping on the east side. Big Crib Coke from Hat Gang, another body. Now they beef with the 897 East Coast. They beef with 87 Kitchen. They beef with 984 Main and 99 Watts Mafia. They'd also been known to beef with 9 Dudes Bishop, F13, and pretty much all other Mafia Crib gangs. But Hat Gang Watts look like an older hood over here in Watts. You know what I'm saying? But they have a section. They still active. But again, they just didn't make that top 20. You've seen all the hoods that's on this list. Extremely dangerous. When we talk about bodies. But Hat Gang Watts, we got to mention them. Now, we didn't hit y'all with the whole east side of South Central. Over 20 hoods. You know what I'm saying? 
stay out the east. Everybody know the east is always the most dangerous of every city. You stay out of east side of South Central, you might stay alive. You know what I'm saying? Rap News Street Politics, best hood channel on YouTube. Sub to this shit.